just want y'all to know that person who's unfortunately designer. I've been hiding this forever. But he is a drug child. He is the result of crack. what happens when in the crack era when your parents do drugs. Today's cautionary tale about how the industry will chew you up and spit you out is brought to you by rrgsnacks.com, our online concession stand that has an assortment of beef and bacon jerky, green apple licorice, and gummy sour peach rings. The haters gonna miss out on them sour peach rings because they be fast forwarding through this part, but that's okay, besties. We know what to put in our margaritas, don't we? <laughs> Ew. Sydney Selby III, better known as Designer, was born on May 3rd, 1997, and was raised in a housing project in bed -Stuy. He told Wrap-Up website that he had less than privileged upbringing. He never had his own bed and used to sleep on the floor or on the couch. In an interview with Yahoo, he said he got in trouble frequently and always found himself in the wrong place at the wrong time. He got into fights and even got shot in the hip at the age of 14. It was during that moment that he decided he needed to make some changes in his life. Being the grandson of the late musician known as Guitar Crusher, music was ingrained in designer's DNA. So it didn't take him long to decide that music was going to be the path he would take to create a better life for himself. He released a couple of songs, and then he bought a beat from a producer in England for $200. While listening to the beat, he came up with a melody for a song called Panda. Panda. Get. Panda, 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 get, get, panda. Get, get, get. I got broads in Atlanta. He told Vlad TV he dropped a snippet of the song on Facebook and it started getting a lot of traction. His girlfriend, Zana Ray, told him he needed to finish the song up right away. So he did, and his whole life changed forever. He had the entire borough of Brooklyn going bananas, but there was a little bit of confusion. What kind of confusion, girl? The song was released during a time when Atlanta rapper Future had music lovers in a chokehold with his mumbled lyrics over Metro Boomin' produced trap beats. Metro Boomin' wants some more. Now. Former rapper Taxstone heard Panda and thought it was Future at first. After realizing it was a random teenager from bed -Stuy, he started promoting designer's music heavily on his social media accounts. From there, Pusha T, who was an artist on Kanye's Good Music record label, as well as the label's president, decided the label needed to make a move on designer immediately. Eleven different labels got into a bidding war, but in the end, not only did Designer sign with good music, but he allowed Kanye to sample Panda on his 2016 Life of Pablo album. Designer told Paper Magazine that after meeting Kanye and the whole good music team, he felt so much good energy. He felt embraced and comfortable in the label's family-oriented vibe. With a big label behind him, Designer dropped out of high school. Oh hell, this is about to get messy, ain't it? This is about to get messy as hell. This ninja got one hit and dropped out of high school. Panda landed at the number one spot on the Billboard Hot 100. The record went diamond in multiple countries. Diamond? That's bigger than platinum for those that don't know. Huge, okay? Real, real big. But most people were still unaware that Panda wasn't future song due to the similarities in the rapper's voices, the autotune, and the ad-libs. Did somebody say ad-libs? <laughs> That's my sh**. <laughs> According to Fact Magazine, Panda was more successful than any single Future had ever released at the time. The magazine added, It's hard not to feel like Designer is eating Future's food. Future is typically very vocal when he needs to get something off his chest, but he remained quiet about Designer for the most part, up until he addressed a low-energy crowd at one of his concerts by saying the attendees must have been Sierra or Designer fans or something. <laughs> Chad, messy, messy, messy. Finally, during a chat with Rolling Stone, Future addressed the designer comparisons by saying, I never worried about anyone else. I don't even want his name in the article. Time would tell if designer was just a gimmick or if he was well on his way to taking over Future's throne. Now, here at RRG, we've done enough of these types of videos to know what happens to most artists when they sign to another artist's record label. Free Chloe Bailey! Free Chloe Bailey! <laughs> Unsurprisingly, things rarely end well. And sadly, designer didn't realize this until it was too late. 
Shortly after signing with Good Music, Designer got in contact with Drake about a possible collaboration. Designer wanted to speak to Kanye about the project, but he didn't have direct access to Kanye. According to Designer, there were so many different people and attorneys he had to get through in order to even connect with Kanye. So Designer left it up to his lawyers to track Kanye down. In the end, his lawyers were unsuccessful in their attempts. To say he was disappointed is an understatement. Designer told BET his whole reason behind signing with Good Music was to bounce ideas off of Kanye, since Kanye had so much experience in the industry. All Designer wanted to do was be in a room with Kanye so he could explain his project and soak up as much knowledge as possible. Designer told BET, Just trying to get that advice from the OG, and I feel like I wasn't really getting it then. And this is one of the issues some artists have when they sign with another artist's label. The artist who's in control of the label has their own career and projects that they're working on, so they don't have time to focus on someone else's career. A good team should be able to step up and help develop new artists without constant input from the label owner. But in Designer's case, he didn't feel like he was getting any of the support he needed. In other words, he was a high school dropout who was thrown into the industry without any direction or guidance. He told BET that he had a lot of new money, he was fresh out of the hood, and he had no prior experience in the music industry. All he needed was the right people to point him in the right direction. He was able to line up some other collaborations on his own, including one with K-pop group BTS. However, he told BET he didn't even know what to do with his other collaboration ideas in terms of putting a full project together. His debut mixtape was released in the summer of 2016 and peaked at number 16 on the charts. He followed it up with a new song called Timmy Turner, which landed at number 10 on the charts. He was constantly sharing his music on social media sites, but he noticed that some of his label mates weren't even reposting his music. Ooh, hateration federation, honey. Designer took it all in stride and started reaching out to the hottest women on Instagram and asked them to listen to his music and repost it. This led to some women thinking he was sliding into their DMs so he could shoot his shot. Designer told Paper Magazine that he was just reaching out and it was all business. Post this music, bitch, and sit your ass down somewhere. Ain't nobody trying to holler at your stinking ass. <laughs> And besides, Zana was still in the picture. Not only was she his girlfriend, but she became his manager as well. Now, what did we tell y'all about making your significant other your manager? Mm, mm, mm. Baby, this messiness just went to level two, okay? Designer was featured on Double XL Magazine's Freshman Class of 2016, and he performed at that year's BET Awards. Then he headed out on tour. He was trying to stay in good spirits, but he was dealing with some mental health issues. He told Vlad TV that during a portion of his time on tour, his dad was in a coma. Designer struggled with being a teenager at the height of his career, all while his dad's health was on the decline. He was young, emotional, and felt all alone. He wanted to open up to Kanye about what was going on with his family, but once again, it was almost impossible for him to connect to his fellow rapper. He didn't feel he could open up to any of his label mates either, and he was deeply hurt by the lack of emotional support he received. In addition, Designer was performing in front of large crowds almost every night and didn't know what the hell he was doing out there. Girl, what you mean he didn't know what he was doing? He said he wasn't taught how to conduct interviews and he wasn't told what to say and what not to say. If you look at some of his earlier interviews, Designer can be seen mumbling, making weird noises, and giving incoherent answers. Hi, Designer! It's so good to see you. How does it feel to be on the red carpet tonight? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, you went to that about get, 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 yeah, you know, I'm gonna put a little something together, you know what I'm saying, man? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> oh, yeah, well, no, no. <laughs> someone, huh? His label didn't even teach him how to perform or how to keep the crowd engaged. He told Vlad TV he had to study other artists, and then he just copied what they were doing. In September 2016, Designer was a passenger in a vehicle that was involved in a road rage incident. The driver of the other vehicle called the police and said someone in Designer's car pointed a weapon at him. Cops tracked down the vehicle Designer was in and searched it. No weapons were found, but they did discover 302 loose pills in the center console. 302? Was he starting a pharmacy or something? Designer and the four other occupants of the car were arrested. The pills were later determined to be steroids owned by the man who was driving the car, Scott Siegel. The charges against Designer were eventually dismissed.
Two months later, he was spotted riding in a car in West Hollywood. TMZ pulled out their cameras and captured designer exiting the vehicle to relieve himself in front of someone's garage door. Now that's just nasty as hell. At the time, designer dropping his pants in public seemed like a harmless act. During a November 2017 club appearance, a shirtless designer was looking happier than a pig in sh** while bending a woman over as Back That Ass Up played in the background. Girl, who is you playing with? Back That Ass Up. <laughs> the Shade Room identified the woman as transgender Instagram model Sydney Starr. Three months later, in February 2018, he got into another traffic dispute in New York. In footage obtained by TMZ, the other driver can be heard calling designer a homophobic slur. Designer then reportedly pulled his eggplant out twice and told the other driver to suck it. That sounds fun as hell. <laughs> designer and the other driver left the scene, and according to TMZ, the NYPD wanted to bring designer in for questioning for exposing himself in public. In the end, TMZ reported that since the footage from privately owned cameras on the street was too far away to capture designer's sausage rocket in 4K, police weren't sure if he actually exposed himself or not. So the rapper escaped being charged with indecent exposure. He had more problems to deal with, though. That same month, a woman named Jessica Brown filed a lawsuit against him over comments he made on social media back in August 2017. According to TMZ, the woman owned a company called College Girl, which educates young people on how to pay for college. The woman reportedly helped designer's little sister get into Howard University. For some reason, designer's sister left Howard and left her belongings behind in a storage unit. The woman claimed she tried to return the items, but she was told that designer's sister didn't want them. Shortly after that, Designer hopped on Instagram to call the woman a fraud, and he warned his followers to stay away from her and her college scams. The woman sued him for defamation and was awarded $135,777 in damages. It was a drop in the bucket for Designer. He had already signed a major co-publishing deal with Songs Music Publishing. According to Billboard magazine, the lucrative deal was orchestrated by his girlfriend, Zana, the company's president, a rep from Good Music, and an attorney. <laughs> okay, so maybe it wasn't such a bad idea for him to make his girlfriend his manager. <laughs> Go ahead, Zana, get them coins, sis. <laughs> With the money pouring in faster than he could count it, Designer focused on giving back. After hosting a pep rally at a charter high school in New York, he handed out money to the students who surrounded his car after his performance. In May 2018, he released his EP called LOD. Sadly, it didn't even crack the top 100 in the Billboard charts. That same year, sources report Designer welcomed a daughter named Sydney the Fourth. Our nosy selves attempted to find the child's mother, but we were unsuccessful. What we do know is that Zana lists her furry friend as her only child on her social media account. <laughs> During a 2018 Scandinavian Airlines flight from Sweden to Germany, designer allegedly got into an altercation with a flight attendant. In a series of Instagram videos, designer explained how the flight attendant put her hands on him without his consent. He said he was then kicked off the flight after he spazzed out. Designer added, They always try to make the black man try to pull the white card and it's like, I'm tired of trying to be a victim of that shit. He ended his message by urging his fans to stay away from Scandinavian Airlines. Okay, designer, let me go on and cancel this flight to Scandinavia. Who the hell going to Scandinavia, girl? <laughs> And then came February 2019. Designer hopped on Instagram Live to chat with his fans. But after a commenter told him he had fallen off, things went left. Nobody that's doing this for me, bro. Nobody. Like, I signed the Kanye West, the biggest nigga. Well, y'all think he's the genius. Well, the mean nigga, that is crazy, nigga. I've been doing all this shit by myself. So what y'all talking about, I fell off. Y'all people, man, I'm grateful. Y'all ungrateful for the music I gave y'all. I did diamond for y'all niggas two times, bro. Eight months later, designer tweeted, Free me from this lobby. <laughs> and yes, he spelled label wrong. Stay in school, kids. <laughs> Stay in school, okay? It was later reported that Good Music granted his wish by releasing him from his contract. Bye, Ashy. So, what happened? 
Well, during an appearance on Everyday Struggle podcast, designer explained the lack of communication he had with Kanye. He also said he felt uncomfortable and disagreed with Kanye's desire to do Christian music, and he wasn't pleased with Kanye's support of Donald Trump. In later years, Pusha T would leave the label as well due to personal and political disagreements with Kanye. Designer was ready to start all over from the ground up, but would he really get a second chance to get his career popping? Before he could make any major moves, the pandemic hit. He was unable to connect with artists he wanted to work with, so he started making music on his own. While countless celebrities turned to OnlyFans to make ends meet during the pandemic, that sounds fun as hell. Designer was sitting comfortably. He told Forbes magazine that he owned multiple properties in New York, and he gave his tenants a break on their rent during the pandemic. He said, "I have to take the hits because I also don't want to see anybody on the street. I can help, so I do." But by April 2021, all hell broke loose in his personal life. Zana fired up her Instagram account while lying in a hospital bed. Say it with me, besties. Here we go. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> she revealed she had been in a bad car accident in Atlanta. Then she turned her attention to Designer, whom she only referred to as her client. Zana stated that Designer had been neglectful and selfish during her recovery. She told her followers, "I literally am in ICU because I got into a terrible car accident. A drunk driver hit me." I'm pretty sure none of you guys know that I'm on my deathbed because my client is extremely selfish. But I just want you to know that if this is the person that you guys decide to continue supporting, he's a monster. Y'all, he was screaming at me in my bed about my dog Trumpet, telling me that my mom need to hurry up and come pick up Trumpet because he got a video shoot to go to. He would rather argue with me about his mother and our family issues that we have. All of that stuff doesn't matter. Being on a on an Instagram block list doesn't matter. Hanging out with white people who are having sex in front of you does not matter. Wait a minute now. Hold up. Pump the brakes. Who was doing what in front of who? Who was doing what in front of him? <laughs> Fix it, Jesus. I take care of that kid. Been taking care of him since he came out of his his mother's home. Um, excuse me. I ain't trying to start no mess. But uh, how old is this woman? Because if he was a teenager when he left his mom's house, then <laughs> you know what? Let me mind my business. Let me mind my business. Unfortunately, designer is a victim of a child, of a parent that you know had endured a lot of drug abuse while while he she was pregnant with him. So he has a lot of mental issues associated to. You know, being a drug baby. Not a drug baby. Now this is exactly why we keep telling y'all mother asses to stop mixing business with pleasure. But I've been here for almost a week, and I've only seen him once. I will probably no longer be working with designer. Um, just getting my severance, and I'll move on. As of this video, it appears that their professional and personal relationship is over. In June 2022, designer was pulled over in LA for having dark tint on his front windows. Cops later discovered he was driving without a license. Shortly after his friend and fellow musician PNB Rock was murdered in September 2022, designer experienced more heartbreak when his friend Takeoff of Migos was killed in November 2022. He hopped on Instagram and announced that he was done with rapping. I swear, why, why? Why do we do this? Why do we do this? I swear to God, this ain't nothing. I'm done rap. I'm done rap. This version of me is done. It's done. It's done. It's done. It's done. It's done. That took take off, bro. It's done. His retirement was short-lived, though. Designer later said he knew that Takeoff would want him to continue making music. He released a song called "Kilo" with Slim Jimmy in December 2022, and then during an April 2023 international flight back to the U.S., he exposed himself to a flight attendant and touched himself multiple times. When the plane landed, he was questioned by cops. He was eventually released, but was later charged with one federal count of indecent exposure on an. 
aircraft. From there, he announced he would be prioritizing his mental health. In a statement on Instagram, he wrote, For the past few months, I have not been okay, and I've been struggling to come to terms with what is going on. He went on to say that while overseas for a concert, he was admitted to a hospital because he was not thinking clearly. They gave him medicine, and then he hopped on the plane where the incident went down. He added he was ashamed of his actions and would be admitting himself into a facility for help. He also canceled all of his upcoming shows and obligations until further notice. He ended his message by saying, Mental health is real, guys. Please pray for me. If you're not feeling like yourself, please get help. He was sentenced to 120 hours of community service, fined $5,000, and received two years probation. Online claims that stated he was added to the National Offender Database were proven to be false. As of this video, Designer is back to making music, including a song he dedicated to Kanye and a collaboration with Lyrica Anderson. After spending Thanksgiving with Lyrica, people assumed they were an item, but were unable to confirm if they're still together. Looking back on Designer's career, it's unfortunate that he was thrust into the spotlight without the right amount of support. And now that his mental health issues have made headlines, we're sure you can imagine what kind of hurtful comments flood his Instagram account. You know what? At least he's open and honest about what he's going through. Hell, half of the people that read his damn Instagram account need their own mental health evaluation. But the good news is, he's looking healthy, he's happy, and he's in good spirits. Even if he never releases another banger, he's still left his mark on the industry.